and welcome to another hero spotlight and preview of Flux, the first ranged strength hero coming to New Earth this Friday. Aside from being the shiniest hero in Han, Flux is a powerful initiator, able to maneuver his enemies without endangering himself in the process. There are two versions of each of Flux's abilities, which we'll classify, for now, with pink and blue. The blue version of his first skill, Magnetic Release, is a magic damage nuke with a 400 radius at max level that slows movement speed based on how close the targets are to the center. The pink version deals the same damage but snares enemies in the opposite fashion. With a much longer cooldown than shown here, Flux's second skill allows him to push or pull a single enemy up to 350 units dealing a percentage of its strength as bonus physical damage. In conjunction with Magnetic Release, you can use this combo in either order to deal decent burst damage early on and make it difficult for enemies to chase or run away from you. Flux's third skill, Polarity Swap, passively gives him bonus attack range up to a max of 550 when combined with his base attack range. When activated, it allows you to toggle his polarity from the default blue pull to pink for push. This bonus also applies to the casting range of your surge, capping it at 600 range instead of 400. It's especially important to level this passive ability since it gives you enough attack range to safely last hit and harass in a lane, and more importantly gives you the option to switch your polarity and push away enemies when necessary. Flux's ultimate globally pushes or pulls all enemy heroes up to 700 distance at max level based on his polarity. It does not deal any damage, stun, or snare, but it is unavoidable, making it a very powerful tool. In this instance, you can see that the ultimate in itself pushed away three enemy heroes approaching to gank Flux from different sides, causing Pharaoh's Wall of Mummies to be misplaced and ruining the effectiveness of this gank. At the early levels, I would recommend different skill builds depending on whether you'll be soloing or side laning. If in the middle lane, you generally won't need your short range AoE, except as an emergency snare, so it'd be safe to max out your second and third skill allowing you to harass more effectively at a safer distance. Stacking strength items on Flux increases his damage output and survivability significantly. If you did poorly at the start, a few fortified bracers should get you back on track with great cost efficiency. In a side lane situation, the burst damage from your first ability will generally prove more useful in small skirmishes and would be wise to level up early. A single level of your second skill will serve its purpose, and your polarity swap should be maxed out for the bonus attack and casting range. One notable item that I'd like to point out as incredibly useful on Flux is Frostwolf Skull. It makes your ultimate snare everyone on the map after pulling or pushing them, making your ultimate much more effective as a counter-initiating tool. If you have a coordinated team of heroes and work together well, it's also great to pick up a portal key so you can blink in and pull enemies to you, setting them up for allies to follow up with area effect disables and spells. Keep in mind, of course, that you don't need a portal key to use your ultimate effectively. Keeping good map awareness and timing your ultimate well can help allies escape from ganks across the map and assist them in chasing an enemy who could have escaped otherwise. Do you